Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about constraint layout. So I have Android Studio opened up. I'm going to select basic activity next, and I'm going to call this um, a game one or something. You can name it whatever you want. Make sure this is for Kotlin and check use Android X artifacts and hit finish. And this should open up the new project. So today we're going to be going over a little bit of constraint layout, what it is, how you can use it. I've used uh, Constraint Layout for a number of years now. I really like it, and I'm going to show you what we can do with it. Okay, so it looks, it looks like the project opened up, and here is our activity. So if you don't have this opened up, uh, or rather this is our layout. So if you don't have this opened up, go ahead and open up Content Main. Um, you may want to select the Android there, and if it's closed, you can just open up App, Resources, Layouts, and then Content Main inside of here. So here's our main layout. So if you notice, there are a couple of modes you can be in. So there's design mode, which is on the left here, but there's also text mode. So text mode is kind of like the behind the scenes of what it is. So if we go back to design mode, you see it says hello world. So if we wanted to do it, if we wanted to create this layout using this editor, we can do that, but we can also do it using the text mode. So you notice it says hello world there. That's the same thing that's showing up right there. So even though text might be a little bit scary because you can do all kinds of stuff and you can mess stuff up, it's important to know that if you ever need fine control over stuff, you can always go to text mode and do this. So if I were to change this to hello Daniel, uh, hello Daniel, if I go back to design mode, you notice, hey, actually it didn't update. Hello Daniel, that should be the text, it's not updating. Maybe if I close it and open it back up again, let's see. Now it says, hello, Daniel. So there it is. So there's a lot that you can do with this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and select that element, and I'm going to hit the delete key to get rid of that. And on the left side, I think you, this might be closed, but you can also open up the palette. And what we can do is we can drag and drop something on there. So say we want a button on our screen. I'm just going to drag and drop it. I'll drop it right there. So that looks like a good place. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. And let's go ahead and run it in an emulator just to see what's going on. So I'm going to check this to make sure it always opens up there. I'm going to hit OK. And let's wait for emulator to open up a second here. This could take a little bit of time. I think I ran it. Is it working? Yeah, great old build running. I'm going to go back to the emulator. And let's see what happens when we open it up. So, so it's pro two processes running. Let's wait a second here. And here is our app. Now you'll notice, look at the button. It's in the top left. But on our editor here, we have it kind of right there. Like it's not really aligned up. This has to do with the way constraint layout is set up. We haven't set any, any constraints on the button. So let's do that. So like right now, you'll notice this is just a free button. It can be anywhere. And if you go back to the emulator, you'll notice it just doesn't, doesn't position it correctly. So let's click on this element. And you'll notice you'll have little circles on the sides. So if I click, drag, and then let go, see how it like kind of snaps to there? So if I do, uh, actually, I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm just going to hit that to get rid of it. And I should get rid of it. Yeah, OK. So I'm going to put it, I'll put it on the bottom left hand. So you notice right now it isn't constrained to anything. Let's click, drag, let go. Now it's constrained to the bottom. I'm going to click, drag, and let go. And it's constrained to the left side. Does that work here? I'm going to do undo that. I'm going to click, drag, and let go. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to run it again. And let's go back to the emulator. And this time it should be in the bottom left because we actually made constraints on the bottom left. So there we go. There's our button. Now say we want some, say we want a text on top of it. So how can we do that? So let's go ahead and drag in a text view. And I'm going to put the text view. I'm just going to drag it maybe in the top right somewhere. And again, if I were to save this and run it, that's not going to really position that text view in that, in that precise area because we haven't actually set the constraints for it. So it's in the top left, kind of the default, I guess. So let's go ahead and set some constraints on this. Let's do click, drag, let go. Click, drag, and let go. And now if we run this, save it and run it, this should be in the top right. And it is. So you'll notice that so far we're using this editor in the design mode. But what if we wanted to go in and do something with the text mode? The text mode can be, te can be, a, can be accessed through the bottom uh, text tab there. And you'll notice we have, you know, this, is, this can be a little bit complicated, but it, it's important to know that we have constraint layout there. So that says constraint layout. Uh, then we have a button 
so there's our button and all the all the all the precise elements or all the precise properties for that button. Uh, then here is our text view. You'll notice because it says text view there and button there. So there's a lot we can do here. So let's go ahead and change the button text. So you see Android text or Android text there. I'm going to go ahead and call this um, well uh, continue because why not? This will be our continue button. And if I go back to design mode, now it says continue. Uh, that says text view up there, but let's go ahead and change that. What we can do is we can go back into our text view and get rid of that text and we'll do, um, we'll do exit, why not? We'll just do exit. So if we go back to design mode, you'll notice now it says exit. So if I were to run this, this should work just fine. We should have a button in the bottom left and exit in the top right, and yes, sure enough, we do. Now these actions don't, need, don't do anything yet. We can do that in a later lesson, probably in a different series. But you'll notice, yeah, we have a continue and an exit. So um, that's the basics of constraint layout. There's a whole lot more you can do, and I'll do a lot more in this series. But let's just, let's just kind of briefly do something here. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to do click and drag all the, all the way over to the left side. And you'll notice now exit is centered in the middle. That's because you see it kind of like squiggly blue line there. It's going to constrain it all the way to the left and all the way to the right. But this text view only has, or the, yeah, this text view only has a certain amount of width, so it's going to center it right in the middle. So that's a way you can make fluid layouts. So say you're, say you had a smaller device and you still wanted it to be in the simple and the in the center, you could click and drag to the right and click and drag to the left, and that would position it right in the middle. Um, there's a whole lot we can do also. So there's stuff like this. We can set uh, our properties over here. We'll get to that in a future lesson. Um, let's, let's, let's do one more thing. Say we want to put another button on top of this button. So I'm going to click, uh, click and drag. I'm just going to drag in a button. I'm going to put it, you know, right there seems good. And I'm going to click and drag to make it go to the left. And because I want this button to be on top of the continue button, I'm going to click and drag and make it go on top of that button. And I'm going to go over to the right. And if you don't have it open, you can just do that attributes there. And what we want to do is we want to give it a text of, we'll call this um, more info, enter. And now that button says more info. So let's go ahead and save it and run it. And let's see what happens here. And there it is. So there we have our more info, our continue, and our exit button. Now obviously you don't want to design like this, but this is the very basics of how you lay out elements inside of constraint layout. Constraint layout is very powerful. I use it every day at work for hours, generally. Uh, I've used it for a couple of years. It's really nice. Um, hopefully, or in this series, I'll go over a lot of the advanced functionality. At first, we're going to start with the basics, but we'll get on to more advanced stuff later. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, and I'll see you in the next video. So hopefully you learned something, and see you later.